I think they might be voting right now. They're voting right now. Mr. Chairman, I rise today in strong opposition to the Hinchy Amendment. Do we need to legalize marijuana? This amendment has nothing to do with legalizing marijuana. The use of marijuana to relieve the pain of victims is well known. Marijuana is a dangerous drug that is not adequately respected by the young people in this country. Marijuana is not harmless. It dulls the brain. The people who are suffering and dying. The message we're sending to our children today. This amendment has nothing to do with this amendment. If they hadn't spent years. Marijuana is with all due respect to all of you, butt out. perpetrated in Washington based upon the so-called war on drugs. You are in the front ranks trying to change those laws in intelligent, reasonable, progressive ways to benefit the people of America. To be an effective lobbyist, you absolutely need to believe in, in, in what you're lobbying for. I'm very fortunate in the sense that I deeply believe in the issue for which I'm advocating. Congress in 60 days will be voting on whether or not to stop arresting cancer patients and AIDS patients who use medical marijuana in states which have allowed medical marijuana laws to pass. Okay, cool. Can you just verbally brief me really quickly what's... Uh... My goal is to get 218 votes on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives for the hinchy Warbacher medical marijuana amendments. Going to 236 Matt's app. We want to pass this amendment. We're, we're not playing around. We're, we're aiming to actually legalize medical marijuana. Something. The fact that our federal government wants to arrest people for using the medicine that works for them that their doctors have recommended that's legal under state law is an outrage. It's, it's, an, it's a moral outrage. Yeah. How are you, sir? Good. Nice to see you. Hey, um, sir, I'm curious if there's anything that would cause you to, to change your vote on the medical marijuana amendment. You voted against it last year, and I was curious if there's any chance that you would support it this year. This job is about building relationships. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are things going? So I basically try to become their friend. Hey, good luck. Take care. Good Thanks, luck. Congressman. All right, see ya. And it's always trying to get that message out there as quickly as possible. Congressman Wilson. Hey, I'm Aaron Houston with the Marijuana Policy Project. I'm sorry. Aaron Houston with the Marijuana Policy Project. I was actually in your district in 2004. Uh, very good to see you. Good to see you, Congressman. That happens a lot. It's great to see you again, Congressman. What, what the There's a stigma attached to marijuana. How do you make politicians feel comfortable supporting this? How do you make them feel like they can actually come out and take a strong stand on it? We've poured a considerable amount of resources into passing the amendment, hitting the GOP congressmen who have not supported the amendment in the past. It can be such a, um, 
such a, a difficult issue to convince people on Congressman. Believe it or not, there's a bunch of politicians around here in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> this town's all about you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Mm -hmm. Well, we give contributions. <laughs> we give money to, to good guys. <laughs> Congressman, you're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you. Really One person in a suit with a short haircut, able to give PAC contributions and able to okay. intelligently talk to members of Congress and their staff members uh, is far, far more powerful than having a hundred or a thousand or even possibly tens of thousands of people in the street. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update on, on what we're doing. And Congressman Hinchy is the prime sponsor of the Hinchy Rohrbacher Medical Marijuana Amendment. He's in a very strongly Democratic district, uh, so he has the latitude to say some things and to, and to do things that, that possibly other members might want to do but, but can't do uh, because of the districts that they're in. And so we're going to continue to push it hard until we get it passed. And I think we do have a good chance of getting it passed this year. I think so, too. Citizens of these United States have already made up their minds on medical marijuana. It's a consistent finding whether they get a chance to vote for it in a state ballot initiative or whether they are polled on it. Everybody says it's not just cruel and not just unusual, it's insane to be denying to sick people something that is of proven medical efficacy. That ought to be the end of the argument right there. The DEA does not recognize any initiative anywhere in the United States that promotes marijuana as a safe, harmless drug that can be used for medicinal purposes. The issue of medical marijuana is not something that ought to be decided by popular referendum. I'm, I'm really pleased by it. We have a whole scientific process that served this country damn well for a long, long time in determining that. You know, and, and, and you can make horrendous mistakes. There is a system, and it's basically at the Food and Drug Administration. That's where the issue of medical marijuana should be decided, and it should be decided by doctors and scientists. The reason people have not taken marijuana through this review process is because it can't pass. It won't pass. And so they want to go this other route. And, you know, good luck to them, because the science isn't there. And it's not going to be there tomorrow either. Of course marijuana has legitimate medical value. I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, the uh, FDA came out with a statement saying that marijuana's got no legitimate medical value. They were just being political and dishonest about that, and they were criticized up the gazoo. What they meant was that there were no what are called phase three final clinical trials of the sort that pharmaceutical companies have to do to get a drug finally approved. But in fact, there's oodles of evidence about the efficacy of marijuana as medicine. It is not possible that any disease would ever be treated with smoked marijuana. Smoking is an unhealthy, dangerous, destructive drug delivery system. Smoking your medicine may be an unusual way of taking your medicine, but it works, and the reason so many people do it is because it works. It's just dumb. It's medically stupid. Why are people going to do that? I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in October of 1994. So I graduated nursing school in 1992, and in 1994 I got diagnosed with MS, and in 1998 I had to leave a, uh, a profession that I loved. Anyway, so I only got six years out of it. 